Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm here to show you how to install Intel CPUs, 12th and 13th gen CPUs. Now, the logic has been the same with Intel for a number of years, but I want to show you the steps for doing it. So if you're a beginner or you're new to PC building, this will really help you out. In this video, I'm going to use two different CPUs and two different motherboards just to demonstrate it's mostly the same. It's an i9-13900K and an i5-13600K, but this will work with 12th gen and older and newer variants as well. I'm using a Strix motherboard here, I'm going to show you the steps for it. So step one is to lift this little lever. You just push it down and unhook it and then lift it up. There's then a latch there with a plastic cover on top. And you'll notice that it says to take care to protect the pins underneath. Now you can see here there are a lot of different pins on the motherboard. And you need to be really careful when installing the CPU not to bend these pins because that will damage the motherboard and could stop it from functioning properly. Also note here that there are four notches at the top and bottom of the CPU socket. And these are very useful in a second because they'll help you line up your CPU and install it correctly. They also mean that you can't install it the wrong way around. So it's very helpful just to pay attention to where these are. Now, if you take a look at the CPU, you'll also see that those notches exist on the top and bottom of the CPU as well. And in the bottom left corner, there's a little gold arrow. So watch out for all these indicators because these will help you work out which way around it goes. Now on most modern motherboards, the gold arrow points to the bottom left corner of the CPU socket. So you just need to push it in there very gently and make sure that those little notches line up with the top and bottom. And then we just seat back the cover over the top and push that latch down, secure it in place, remembering to remove that plastic cap. Keep that cap though, because you, if you ever in future remove the CPU, you'll need that to protect the pins. So it is worth holding on to. I want to show you the same process again from a different angle. Just once again, show off what you're meant to do. Just very carefully lower the CPU down into the socket. Remember, take extreme care not to drop it onto the pins or to force it in. You need to very gently put it in there. You really got to look after those pins. Then once that's done, obviously you then need to just go about the process of building the rest of the PC. Install the RAM, put in the CPU thermal paste on, for example, and other things. I've done videos on this and the proper use of thermal paste and the best way to apply it, as well as other tips and tricks that I'll link to in the description that will help you get going. But hopefully you found this useful. Now bear in mind that this installation process is basically the same for all Intel CPUs, so you shouldn't go wrong and it should be fairly straightforward. Another tip for you quickly is if you're using an all-in-one cooler or CPU cooler, make sure that you seat it down properly over the CPU and also that you put the thumb screws in nice and tight to ensure good thermal conductivity and good cooling in your system. That will really help to keep it running nicely. And then hopefully you can enjoy a wonderful build like this one. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.